right, in this video, this is the Systems of Equations series video number four, and we're going to talk about some basic examples using the elimination method. Some books, some websites, some videos, you may see the addition method. It's the same thing. I prefer to call it the elimination method because we're going to eliminate one variable to solve for another. We have two examples and they are set up very similar in the fact that we have the X's lined up vertically, the Y's are lined up, the equals are lined up, and then these constant terms. These numbers here without variables, they are also lined up. Same thing over here, and if your variables were not lined up, you could rearrange the equations to line them up. We'll see that in future videos. But what I also want you to notice here is that if I just draw a line here and we combine like terms with these things that are lined up, 2x and 5x, they're both positive, so if we combine those, we get 7x. Negative 3y plus 3y, that's zero. They cancel out. They get eliminated. Then if we bring down our equals and we combine the 1 and a 34, we get 35 because they are both positive. So now our equation is 7x is equal to 35, and we can get x by itself very quickly by dividing both sides by 7, and we get x is equal to 5. Now, we have to find the other variable. Just like in video number 3 and 2 where we did the substitution method, once you find one variable, you have to plug that back in to find the other variable. I'm just going to take this first equation here, the 2x minus 3y equals 1. Let's take the 5, let's plug it into x. So we have 2 times 5, that is 2x minus 3y is equal to 1. And again, I'm just taking this first equation here and I'm plugging 5 into that x. So we have 2 times 5, that's 10 minus 3y, this is equal to 1. Now let's work on getting y by itself so that we can find the solution to this system of equations. Let's subtract 10 from both sides. Again, we're trying to get y by itself here. And 10 minus 10, they cancel out. Bringing down our negative 3y here. Be careful with your signs. Negative 3y. And this is now equal to 1 minus 10. We get negative 9. Now we can divide both sides by negative 3 to get the y by itself. And therefore, we have y is equal to negative 9 divided by negative 3 is a positive 3. Therefore, our solution as an ordered pair is going to be x comma y, 5 and a 3. This is the solution to this first example. Now let's quickly check this to make sure everything is correct. So we're taking the 5, plugging it into x, taking the 3, and plugging it into y. 2 times 5 is 10 minus 9, because we're taking 3 times 3. Remember, we had a y value of 3. 10 minus 9 gives us 1. Perfect. Now let's make sure this works for the second equation. 5 times x. Remember, x was 5. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 9, 3 times 3, and 25 plus 9 does give us 34. Therefore, this is the solution to our system of equations. Now let's work on this example here. Making a little bit of room, and now what I want you to notice is that in the first example we did here, the y's got eliminated, and in this example, we can actually eliminate the x's. We have 4x minus 4x, they cancel out. 5y minus 3y, that is 2y. You have to be careful with your signs here. 5 minus 3, we get 2, and this is gonna be equal to a positive 9 and a positive 3, we get 12. Look how fast we can solve for y in this equation. When we divide both sides by two, we get y is equal to six. So let's repeat this process. Take either one of your equations. I'm gonna take the first one again. We have four x plus five y. I'm gonna take five times six because we got a y value of six and this is gonna be equal to nine. And what we want to do now is work on solving for x. So we have 4x plus 5 times 6 is 30, and this is equal to 9. Let's work on solving for x. We can subtract 30 from both sides. And when we do this, we now have 4x, because the 30 minus 30 cancels out, is equal to 9 minus 30. We get a negative 21. 
Now sometimes you will get fractions for answers or decimals because notice when we divide both sides by 4 we get x is equal to negative 21 over 4 and if we were to get a decimal here it's not a bad decimal we actually get negative 5.25. If you just take negative 21 divided by 4 you do get negative 5.25. So now we have our ordered pair, but again, make sure you write the x value first, negative 5.25, and then your y value of 6, and let's now double check and make sure this works for both equations. Now you may wonder, how do you need to write the answer? It, you will be told how to write the answer, whether to write it as a decimal or to write it as a fraction. So now let's come back and let's make sure it works for both equations. So taking negative 5.25, plugging that into x, 4 times negative 5.25. I'm thinking of that as taking 4 times $5.25, and that's going to be 21. However, it's negative 21 because we are multiplying by a negative 5.25. So we have negative 21 plus 30, because 5 times y, that's 5 times 6, Negative 21 plus 30 does give us 9. Perfect. Repeating that process down here, negative 4 times x, that's negative 4 times negative 5.25. A negative times a negative is a positive, so we have 21 minus 18 because we're taking 3 times 6, our y value of 6. 21 minus 18 does give us 3. Therefore, this is the solution to our second example. And there you have it, two basic examples. What I want you to get comfortable with here is that the Y's can get eliminated or the X's. In future videos, we'll look at where maybe they don't cancel out right at the very beginning of the problem and you have to manipulate the equations so that you can eliminate a variable. We'll also look at rearranging things when the variables are not lined up perfectly or the equals are not lined up perfectly. It's just a matter of us moving things from one side of the equation to the other. But for now, I wanted to give you the two examples to give you the introduction to the elimination method. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.